Um, like when you see black men, do you just think of public safety? So I just think that we should, um, hopefully you all can um, talk about that and maybe with some of the placement of other photographs that's within the master plan. I really don't want it to be a term of brownwashing where you are um, just have you know, people of color just to check off like a diversity sort of metric. So I really hope that um, the pictures are intentional and kind of tell the story of how, well, who we are as a community um, and who we wish to be as a community. Um, and then the other part that, well, there's two other things I want to say now. But um, I was part of the Education Economic Development Advisory Group. And I know that there has been a lot of uproar around the whole Civic Park um, thing. But for me, I'm like, if there was someone from the Flint schools who was part of our group and part of the whole planning process, hopefully that would have been cut off so it's not kind of like this, well, what happened? Because it kind of seems that, that Flint schools is creating like their own journey, charting their own journey without um, the opportunity to input of the city. And it was kind of a missed opportunity because there could have been some joint planning efforts so there wouldn't have been this talk of selling Civic Park and talking about raising the building and maybe, I don't know what, what else they have planned for our sales with um, the abandoned uh, and closed school buildings. But if there was some point of connection where they could have connected with the planning process, that would have been awesome. And the last part I wanted to talk about was the implementation because for me that's where the rubber meets the road. And um, by that time, you all have done your job. And what's going to happen as far as the zoning and the ordinances that will need to be passed to support what is in this plan? And I've always been kind of hesitant because our city council does not have power. I do see that Mr. Early is in the audience tonight, our new um, city of Flint emergency manager. I don't know if he wants to be blasted like that, but I did see him. So maybe. Um, maybe tonight or um, at the city council meeting next week if he will be able to attend. He could possibly speak to um, his support of the effort that we've collectively done so far. And, and maybe, uh, I guess like in reassuring, I'm gonna say me, reassuring me that, um, that like as we, as we move forward that he will be a, a support and um, and passing some of these ordinances and okaying some of these zoning changes that we will be tackling next after the city council adopts the master plan. Thank you. Good evening. Um, my name is Jared Haynes. I'm the executive director at the Whiting. I'll be very brief. Uh, I thought it was important to come here tonight uh, particularly after Saturday's meeting and express publicly our, and when I say our, I mean myself and my colleagues in the arts and cultural community, our appreciation for the work at the commission and at the staff level, uh, listening to our concerns, incorporating some of them into the plan, and most importantly, recognizing that what we are doing here is developing a plan for the future. And some of the recommendations and the work that's gone on thus far indicates to me at least that there's a recognition that this is a dynamic process which ultimately will lead to a dynamic plan which will ultimately yield a dynamic city and I thank you all for your efforts. Anyone else wishing to address the commission at this time? Good evening. I just again want to uh, reiterate on the record um, that I continue to hear strong uh, public support for the, the plan uh, with the revisions that you've made in front of you. Um, I continue to have questions about implementation. So I have been directing people to the, the revised chapter format so they can see uh, the way that's been laid out and the, uh, the short, medium, long term, and the, uh, the general assessment of, of costs. So uh, I think with those additions uh, in general, along with all the many uh, issues that you've addressed throughout the content, that we have 
a plan that our city council uh, is prepared to to also adopt so uh, thank you again for your hard work i think our, our our long list of partners that we have to acknowledge for this process will be pleased uh, with the progress that we've made i think the u.s department of housing and urban development the other funders that have given us the money to undertake this process uh, will be very happy with the product uh, so we're at that point where uh, we've talked a lot about this, and uh, for me, it's, it's just very encouraging uh, to see how you all have worked together on this and to know that um, hopefully following tonight, our city council will have the same opportunity, and then uh, those of us who come to work here every day can uh, show you that we're committed to the implementation and, and appreciate the framework that you've developed uh, to guide us in those endeavors. So uh, thanks for your hard work and look forward to your, your continued efforts in this. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the commission. I'm Darnell Early. For those of you who have not had an opportunity to meet me yet, I'm as was mentioned earlier, the new emergency manager, but I'm also an old part of the Flint fabric because I spent three and a half years here from 2004, or excuse me, from 2001 until 2004 as the city administrator. Also had an opportunity to work with the uh, first emergency manager in the city of Flint from 2002 until 2004. And as God would have it, my journey has brought me back. And it's been two weeks now, and I already know that this is not the Flint that I left in 2004. This is a community with a lot of promise. This is a community that is facing its challenges. This is a community that is engaging itself with stakeholders so that the story written from this point forward about the city of Flint will be a very positive story written by a lot of authors. I want to first begin with the Planning Commission as the authors of a large part of what's to come in the future of the City of Flint. For as the Mayor said, you are to be commended for the work that you've done in giving leadership to this very critical process. I was surprised, and I guess I did not know this during my first term here, uh, that the City's Master Plan dated back to some 1960, I believe, was the number that I was given, uh, which led me to believe that somewhere along the line, uh, the city developed over that 50-plus year period without the guidance of a strong civic engagement, without the guidance of a plan for the, f the future, or a strategy to meet some of the challenges that many of our urban core cities face, not only in Michigan, but throughout the country. But as it would happen, a number of things uh, have taken priority, and that brings us here today in looking at what the Flint of the future will represent based on the hard work of a lot of people, the commitment and the belief amongst the stakeholders about what a new Flint could look like. And it just falls to me to be in a position to assist in any way that I can to restore that city of Flint confidence, that, tra that uh, uh, heritage, and those things that traditionally people that I run into all over the country tell me when they say with pride, I'm from Flint. I went to high school in Flint. I still have family in Flint. And Flint's a good place. Take care of Flint when you go back to Flint. But what people don't know is that there are a lot of people already in Flint doing a lot to take care of Flint. This plan, and I won't debate the merits or, or the pros and cons of what's in the plan, but what's more important to me and what will be more important to the state is the fact that the people have come together and have worked in unison to define what Flint looks like going forward. My goal here is to, and I've told everyone who's asked me this over the past two weeks, is to restore Flint to that financial stability, 
to be able to manage its own affairs, beginning with its plan for the future and continuing on to those things that we all take for granted, like services or day-to-day -day operations or the utilization of resources to meet challenges. And I'm confident that uh, after a period of time, that's where the city will be. But going forward, the city has to also be able to sustain itself in a way that the hard work of so many people and the commitment of so many uh, to put together a plan to update the vision, and, if you will, for the city of Flint does not go unimplemented or, for lack of a better term, just kind of dies on the vine. I think it's very important, and part of the reason that I'm here tonight uh, is to go on the record to iterate or to state my support for the work that has gone on here and for the efforts that this work is intended to yield for the future of the city of Flint. One of the things that will be important to me as I uh, go about the task of working to do what I can and what the state uh, can do to assist and what we all do together here on behalf of the city of Flint is having the city emerge stronger with more guidance and a commitment to staying the course of sustainability and good management. I've told a lot of people that I was a city manager long before I was an emergency manager. And the reason why that's important to me is that I have a passion not only for my work but for the people to whom we are charged as public servants to serve. So this is an excellent place for me to start. This is an excellent place for me to get engaged and to look at those issues. And Lord knows there are many. Most urban centers, like I said, have many challenges and few resources to meet those challenges. But I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged by uh, the commitment of the mayor. I'm encouraged by the members of the council that I've talked to who have also shared uh, the vision of wanting to see the city return to uh, the strength and stability of being able to handle its own municipal affairs. I'm encouraged by the stakeholders that I've met with over the past two weeks. And Lord, it seems like it's a lot longer than two weeks, but it's only been two weeks, and I've had a lot of meetings, and I've talked to a lot of people, and I've heard a lot of things. But I'm encouraged by the enthusiasm that I've heard and the voices of the people who want to see Flint survive, who want to see Flint not go down the road of Detroit or some of the other communities in the country who have faced these same level of challenges. And so you're on the right track. Your hard work and the work of the groups that have come together to put this plan in place uh, will not go unheeded. And I pledge my support to do whatever I can to keep it moving in the direction that is productive and a direction that will yield results to help us not only turn the city of Flint around, but to keep it on a course of sustainability and self-governing rule. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the commission? Anyone else wishing to address the commission? That portion of the public hearing is now closed. I'd like to thank everyone who have taken the opportunity to address this commission in this process going forward. Next item on the agenda is any site plan reviews. None. Case review? There are none. No public here.